Hey guys, and welcome back to the Lumbridge Lounge. You're here with the Baron72, and I'm gonna take you on a guide on how to do birdhouse runs efficiently. If done right, birdhouse runs uh, can get you loads of passive experience if you do them daily and do them once or twice a day. I have 81 Hunter, and I'd say about 75% of that experience has come from just doing a birdhouse run or two a day uh, while I'm playing RuneScape. So let's get it going. For this guide, there's only a couple of requirements that'll make it more efficient and more enjoyable for you. The first one would be completing the Bone Voyage quest. Um, this quest unlocks Fossil Island where birdhouses are uh, for us to be able to even do this. The next requirement would be to have at least five hunter to start. You need to have five hunter to create the most simple birdhouse in the game. And the last one is to finish the dig site quest. Um, the dig site will help you by getting you a teleport necklace called the dig site pendant. And with that, you also have to unlock it here at the Verak Museum, which I'll show you now. Once you're here, just open this gate. He'll let you through. When you want to help, he'll say a few words and he'll let you through. You need to go take the tools from the wall here. Say yes. And put on your gloves and your boots that they give you. After that, you need to go to the specimen rocks uh, and pick up a few specimen rocks then clean them at the specimen table and they'll give you some random items. Once you see one that looks like this on the screen, a ruby necklace, then you need to talk with one of these uh, archeologists and they'll teach you the spell to be able to enchant it to make it a dig site pendant. After you have that first dig site pendant, now you can go buy other ruby necklaces and enchant as many as your heart desires. I'd recommend to do a lot of them. Like the first time I did it was doing 40 to 50 of them. Just so when you're doing these birdhouse runs a day, you can have plenty of dig site pendants and not have to worry about making more. Now that you learn the spell from the archeologist, you can go to the Grand Exchange, get yourself those extra dig site pendants. And then all you need to do is cast your level three enchant, which is one cosmic rune and five fire runes and cast it on the ruby necklace. Now you have yourself five charges of a dig site pendant. The only spell you'll probably have unlocked is the dig site when you, when you get your first dig site pendant. With the dig site being the only unlock you have, let's go to it really quick. We're gonna show you how to unlock the other place. Uh, what was it called? The fossil island one, because that's the, that's the spell that you need to be able to unlock the most efficient way to do birdhouse runs. After you get to here at the dig site, we want to quick travel to the fossil island, and this is where you'll end up, right here. Um, there's a couple things we need to do before we can start doing birdhouse runs. One is to unlock the other teleport on our dig site pendant, and the other is to unlock different magic must trees so that we can teleport between different magic must trees. Now that we're on fossil island, let's go unlock our uh, dig site pendant teleport to fossil island. For this, you need to be going this way, um, up to this ladder up here. Once you're there, go ahead and climb the ladder and go to the other side. After you get to the other side, you're, you're going to see this house looking thing over there, or mansion looking thing, over across this bridge, if you can see my mouse. Um, from here is, this is where you unlock the dig site uh, or the fossil island teleport on your dig site pendant. After you get here, go ahead and climb these stairs on this side of the house, on the side of the mansion. You're going to want to use your dig site pendant, so use it on this strange machine right here. I've already done it, so nothing important is going to happen. It just says it glows lightly and seems to lose its connection to this place. So don't use it twice, it looks like. So use right there. It seems to bind its magic to this place. So you can see the picture of the dig site pendant, use it on there and you're going to unlock this teleport, false island, right there. After you've gotten your teleport for, for your dig site pendant, now we need to unlock a couple more um, traveling methods to get around false island a little quicker. And these are magic mush trees. These magic mush trees are like you see right over here. Um, they connect to one another on Fossil Island. So to unlock them, you have to walk to them first and touch them and then they're unlocked and you can travel between them. 
This is the first one you have to unlock because when you teleport to Fossil Island, you're going to teleport in here. Um, and then you're going to use this magic mush tree to get to the other magic mush trees. So once you've clicked on this magic mush tree and unlocked it, let's go back to the dig site. I think that'll be the fastest way to be able to unlock the next one. And let's quick travel over to Fossil Island. Once you're back to Fossil Island, let's run left again, or one west, and follow the second dirt path. Dirt path. So we have this dirt path. Let's follow the second dirt path up north. If you go along this dirt path, dirt path, it's fine. They both kind of go the same direction. And you can see the other magic mush tree right there. And there's one of our birdhouses. We'll come back to that in a minute. Click on that, unlock it, and you might see something like this. Um, this one is mushroom metal. The one we just unlocked up where we got the dig site pendant teleport is called House on the Hill. And then the last one you needed is Verdant Valley. After you've unlocked this one, go back to the dig site so you can go back to the beginning again. Okay, now that we're back to the beginning, I'm gonna show you on the map where the next one's gonna be. Um, just in case you don't want to watch all the running because there is a lot of running But we're also gonna try to fast forward this next part because it's gonna take a little bit to be able to get there But I will show you both ways. So here's the map. We're gonna run from here where we're at We're gonna run to the right all the way down and you can't get around here So you have to run here and run all the way around right here and The next magic mush tree is right there next to two more birdhouses so if you want to watch the run and follow me, go ahead. If you don't, go ahead and skip forward until after the mustry. So here we go. Once you get to this magic mush tree, click on it and unlock the teleportation method to the other mush trees. And now we're ready to start the birdhouse runs. Let's go. So, to start a birdhouse run, I usually start at a bank to be able to grab the materials I need to work a birdhouse run every single day. Um, the materials you need are really simple and straightforward. The first one you need, if it, this is your first time doing a birdhouse run, you need uh, four clockworks. Those clockworks are to create the birdhouse. If you can't just buy them off the GE like an Iron Man, you need a crafting table too to be able to make this and you're playing on house in the workshop in your player own house. After that, you need four logs of your hunter level that allows you to craft the birdhouses. But not only the, the hunter level requirement, you also need the crafting level requirement. After the logs, you need seeds. Um, these seeds are to be put in the birdhouse to be able to trap uh, bird's nests or trap birds, basically. You need to have at least 40 seeds. These are low level hop and uh, herb seeds. I use jute seeds because they're really cheap on the GE and I can get a lot of them at a time. Other seeds that work would be like barley seeds and hammerstone seeds and any hops and herb seeds really will work. Next is the hammer and chisel. This is to create the birdhouses and you need a teleportation me method to Fossil Island. I'm using house teleports to go to my house, really quick, to just to show you. And then I will use the dig site pendant mounted that is mounted in my house to get there. To get this, you need a level 82 construction to be able to make this. Um, so if you don't have that construction level, just use your dig site pendants. That's why I recommend getting 30 or 40 of them. So now let's start our run. So first teleport menu or your dig site pendant or rub your dig site pendant and go to Fossil Island. From here, you wanna click on your magic mush tree, the one that we just unlocked a teleport for. And you're gonna to go to either Mushroom Meadow or Verdant Valley. I like going to Verdant Valley first. So let's go there. Then you, if, then you break down your last birdhouse if it's there. And right here is the clockwork if you don't recognize it. That's what it looks like. After you have a, that clockwork in your inventory, you can use your hammer or your chisel on the magic logs and that'll create a magic birdhouse. Click on the magic birdhouse to the space. After that's done, use your space 
to the, the magic root house, use your seeds there. It'll take 10 from your inventory and be ready for the next one. Then you just go to this one over here and do the same thing. I'll show you a rune light plugin to make it just a left click to empty because usually you have to right click and click on empty, but you can use the rune light plugin that I'll show you at the end to uh, make this a little easier just to left click and empty it. After you're done with Verdant Valley, go to Mushroom Meadow. Once you're in Mushroom Meadow, there's going to be one just straight to your north. Go ahead and empty that one out. <clears throat> Once you have that one emptied out, use your chisel on your log and just keep doing it. Make your birdhouses. Put seeds in them. Remember to put seeds. Um, without it, you're not going to get anything from that birdhouse. And I've done it a few times and you never feel good about it because you lose these these nests. Sometimes you get a lot of nests, sometimes you don't. Um, this is the main reason you do this as well is these nests are decent money. They don't make a lot of money, but they're decent money as well. Um, I've been using them as passive herb lore experience to make Ceridomen brews, but other than that, they're usually used for money. So after I'm done with this birdhouse, you just had to run straight south with this birdhouse right here. And that's all four birdhouses. And you're done with your run. After you're done with your run, um, you get to teleport out of there. After you're out of there, let's go ahead and check our loot really quick. So I search every bird, every bird's nest, and then let's check the price. So, for just a passive two minute run, I made 17K. And sometimes that could be up to 200K. It all depends on what kind of seeds you get. Because there's dragon fruit seeds, there's magic seeds, there's yew seeds that are a lot more expensive that you can get out of these bird's nests as well. And also, you can also get a lot more bird's nests as well. Like I promised, I'm gonna show you that uh, Rune Light plugin. If you're not playing on Rune Light, you need to be playing on Rune Light. It's, such a time saver it's also a headache saver um rune light's awesome it has all these plugins that you can use especially like this one that i'm going to show you for that left click on the birdhouse to dismantle it so you want to go to menu entry swapper just type in menu menu entry swapper and click on the cog once you're there go ahead and uh have the down arrow turn from object swaps and go to birdhouse make sure that one's clicked or checked, that box is checked, so that you can have that left click availability. With that being said, that's all a birdhouse run takes. Um, from that one run, you can see I got 4,560 experience, which does not seem like a lot, but you can do this literally every hour. It takes 50 minutes for your birdhouses to be done, and say you do this five times a day, that would be an easy 20 to 25K of passive for uh, hunter experience that you don't even have to think about and you're making money or passive herb lore experience or whatever you use your bird houses or bird bird's nest for so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and leave a like and subscribe if you want to and leave any suggestions that you guys have down in the comments below thanks guys deuces